Hey guys, it's Brock, and today I'm at the Magnolia Exotic Bird Sanctuary, which by the way, I'm going to be at with Rhea on the 6th of April. So that's, I don't know when I'm gonna edit this. As soon as I get home, I'm going to edit this and put it out as soon as possible. But to me right now, it is next week. So when you see this, it'll probably be the same week, which I know is a little soon, but if you're in the Houston, Texas area, Come and see us, it'll be a lot of fun. There's lots of birds and today we're gonna to be taking a tour and I just can't wait to see everything and share it with you guys. This is Candace. She is the, what are you at the Magnolia Bird Sanctuary? I'm actually the secretary of the nonprofit, but more importantly, I'm the sister of the director. And the okay. director is Sharon Markland. I'm the younger sister, and I do as I'm told. <laughs> she does all the not fun work. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't work with the birds every day. That's what yeah. Sharon does. She's the bird lady. I take care of everything else. So. And we are in. We'll have to wait, even despite our microphone that I got for this, uh, we might not be able to hear. We might have to cut around and restart a little bit. Right. <laughs> That's Cuckoo Bird. Yeah, Cuckoo Bird is right behind us. But she's been screaming. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We're going to, we'll go look at her in a second. <laughs> Do you guys want a cockatoo? I really want one now. <laughs> Aria's almost that loud. At least it's not screaming. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, hi, are you happy now? Are you happy now? I know. Maybe she will Mr. stop Mama. screaming so we can Maybe. film the video, Until we right? Walk away. Hello there. Well, why don't we talk about. Hi, yeah. She won't let go. You're not going to let go? She's not going to pull me in and bite me. She, she might. Oh, you're trying to trick me? Yep. Oh, you're sly, aren't you? Why don't you let go? I don't trust you anymore. <laughs> I know your tricks. Yeah, I act all innocent. Anyways, so this is Cuckoo, right? Cuckoo bird? Yeah, this is Cuckoo, and Cuckoo came from a lady who had to run from an abusive relationship, and she could not take her to the hotel with her. Um, and then she was able to finally get some housing, still couldn't have him. So he's staying here with us until she has her house back. And That's he's amazing. a really, really sweet guy. Misses his mom terribly, but she'll be back for him. Oh, that's awesome. And it happens occasionally. We have one other bird that- And it's was, amazing she got out of that and you guys I know. helped amazing her she got out not of lose it. her bird. That's right, that's yeah. right. And he's safe and sound. We take good care of him, and your mama will come back for you, I promise. She promised. Hi. And we've had one other bird under the same circumstances um, had, to, had to leave their abusive relationship and the husband and was terrified to leave the bird behind. Yeah. That's a tough situation you don't really think about a lot of times when it comes to having any animal. Any pet, that's yeah. right. And I, the other thing is too, you know, we consider circumstances like Coco's an emergency. Yeah. So we probably get four to six requests a week for surrenders of all different types of birds. Mm -hmm. But something like Coco, we consider an emergency. Yeah. And well, when a person is help. also in danger, then yeah, yeah, definitely an emergency. <laughs> definitely an emergency. So he is She's very beautiful. loud. He could break your eardrums if he, well, he if, wanted to. <laughs> if her mom is watching by any chance, Cuckoo is a beautiful bird, and he, I think she was trying to be sneaky with me, but I still love her. <laughs> right? 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 I know. I know. Trying to sneak in a little bite. I know. Oh, you're trying to do it again? I don't know. I really want to put my finger out there for you, but 
I don't know about that. <laughs> well, a cuckoo appears to be a male. His eyes are almost, oh, they look like they're all black. Oh, that's right. I forgot. Uh -huh. Yep. So Moluccans have he, he definitely likes women. Dimorphic eyes, right? right. Yeah. He the, definitely likes women. Definitely okay. likes women. He definitely wanted to bite me then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't blame him in his circumstance for liking right. women. <laughs> right. <laughs> Hi. Hi, sweet boy. Hi, sweet boy. And the really cool thing about all these birds, even the ones that would just just bite you, they all love attention. They all love to be talked to. They like music. They like to dance. I, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna give it. Uh, okay, look. I'll, I'll give you one shot. Let's see. Let's see what you do. <laughs> now you're pulling four. <laughs> I think you're gonna bite me doing this, but this is ridiculous. <laughs> this just almost looks like a yoga move. <laughs> yeah, this is some extreme. Ow! Jeez. She's really trying to, or he, excuse me, is really trying to. Coco. Come here, baby. Twist those claws into me. Hi. Hi. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Oh. Woo hoo! Just singing. Woo 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 woo. Okay, so this is this is Snowball. Snowball was purchased by a lady. She bought him off Craigslist, got him home, um, and he had to go through a drug withdrawal. Um, got very sick. Two thousand dollars later, from the vet, he's a healthy, happy guy. But his screaming hurt her little old dog's ears that she rescued, so she brought him here to us. Nah, screaming hurts ears. Yeah, <laughs> we have zero experience with that today. Yeah. Right? <laughs> and he loves to take a bath. I don't have a sprayer with me, but oh, there goes that uh, cuckoo yeah. again. There we go again. Cuckoo's not happy. Okay, so I'm here with Candace again, who you just met earlier, but I understand you guys have blind birds you're trying to heal. We do. We have a dozen blind birds that uh, live at the sanctuary, and we have started to try and help them, taking one bird in at a time to have their eyes looked at. You know, parrots get cataracts just like old people do, and our average age here is 25. So some may be due to cataracts. If that's the case, we can help them. It's about $5,000 an eye, and we've started with two already to their first uh, vet visit. And they do all the blood work, and they test their eyes, then they give us the results, and then we take it from there. And that's actually why I am coming next week, because there's a fundraiser going on. Again, uh, near Houston, Texas, I'll put some more information in the description. And if you want to just help the birds from afar, I'll put some information there that as well. That would be great. That would but, be great. Uh, I just think it's amazing that you're doing that for them. Thank you. And uh, Tupac actually had cataracts. Really? Yeah, my Toko Toucan, he was very old, but he, he still had sight, but he was, I have a little experience with that. So I'm really interested to see like just how they, these birds react and behave. Me too. And adapt. Me too, because oftentimes when they come to us, they're, they may not already have most of their sight, but we don't know it right away because parrots hide their weaknesses. Right. And so oftentimes by the time we realize they're blind, they're completely blind. We've also gotten five in the last two years that came to us completely blind. So it's quite a journey to help these parrots, but if we can give any parrot, any sight, even if it's just one eye, um, we really, really want to do that for them because they're going to live another 35, 40 years. And we it's want to give them. To be blind for it, it is a long time to be <laughs> blind, and we really want to give them the best life possible. That's amazing. All right, so let's go see them. Okay, sounds good.
This is Indigo. She is a hyacinth macaw who is blind. And <laughs> I don't know what she's doing right now, but despite being blind, she still seems pretty happy for the most part. I'm sure it's not the best being blind. Right, Indigo? Earlier we had this door open and she was trying to climb up and she couldn't, you know, she's expecting it to be there. So there's a lot of obstacles to overcome with uh, rehabilitating birds like this that you might not even think of. Also, she got a pretty good bite out of me earlier, so I'm trying to take a photo with her for Instagram. It's definitely a different bite than a toucan bite. It's a lot more bruisey. Toucan bite's more shreddy than bruisey. <laughs> now, Indigo didn't bite me out of spite or malice. She just is nervous and doesn't understand what's going on. Obviously she can't see, so that's another struggle for birds like her. And they're hoping to restore her sight at some point. Enjoying some macadamia nuts. Macadamia nuts, right? Yeah. I had to double check my nuts. This is Rainbow. She was rescued from a dog fighting ring, believe it or not. And she too is blind. They're not sure how she became blind. But she's looking for her food dishes right now. <laughs> I imagine it would be such a struggle for a bird to not be able to see. You can actually tell in her right eye there. With her, you can tell her eyes not. I'm hoping you can hear me. If not, you will be hearing a voiceover right now. <laughs> this is Rodney. Rodney also blind. And then Elvis. Elvis isn't blind. But they live together in here. And because they are paired, he has an easier time navigating. Uh, thanks to their partnership. So... Rodney came from a, someone had a big aviary in their backyard and eventually got tired of him. And this was all the way back in 1999. So he's been here for 25 years. So, right. And he eventually became blind here because he's so old. He's over 50. Am I right about that? Over 50 years old. So reminds me a little bit of Tupac and how he got cataracts in his old age. So Rodney was actually found and they thought he was a goner, Monty Python style. Uh, flipped upside down at the bottom of the enclosure and uh, Elvis actually came and flipped Rodney back over and then he was fine. So they're not sure exactly what happened. This happened some time ago, right? Yeah. Yeah, quite a while ago. He gets no respect, though. <laughs> this is Jasper. Jasper is on his fourth home now, and is also, again, entirely blind. A kind person saw him at a pet store and bought him along with a Amazon, and unfortunately the Amazon died within two weeks of getting both of them. But now Jasper resides here, fortunately. This is Rico. He is a Red Lord Amazon. He was on consignment at a pet store for years, but nobody could handle him. And turns out he's completely blind. So they didn't know he was blind. And now he resides here. I think he, is he napping or is he just that's Always that way. Yeah. Poor guy. He's like 60 plus. Yeah. He's over 60 years old. So Rico is double my age. Yeah. Another one of the rooms here. So this is Johnny. 
Johnny was adopted and he unfortunately came back to us. I think he was just too much for the really great lady, great bird lady, but I think he was just too much for her because they can be a handful, can't you? He's pretty nice, definitely has a mind of his own, and we're hopeful <laughs> that we will find the perfect person for this Johnny. We think he's about, well, I think he's about probably 10 years old. And he he's was a, surrendered a few years ago. Jubilee? Uh-huh, he's a Jubilee. Those are hybrids, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, they're hybrids. Okay. And one day, you're going to find the best home ever. And we're kind of picky about, well, not kind of, we are picky. <laughs> we give them a good life while they're here. Their life to a new home has to be way better than this. Right. Isn't that right? So, that's Johnny. And attention and love. The cause are, you know, Beginner bird, that's for sure. <laughs> exactly. No, probably not so much. I remember when I was a kid, I wanted a green wing macaw. They're the big ones. <laughs> yeah, I know. Well, that's why I liked it, because it was big. big. Yeah, they're big massive. Macaw. Before I got into toucans, I really loved macaws. Well, I can see why they're also kind of tricksters. There's just something I love the way, uh, we were talking about this earlier, the feathers look like stitching around their eyes. Uh, looks like embroidery. Embroidery, that's right, yeah. I remember drawing them as a kid, and uh, probably like seven or eight years old, and putting so much time and effort into the little feathers. I know, they're really around their stunning. Eyes. So, when you mentioned that earlier, I thought about that. I like, had a core memory unlock. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> and I think of embroidery and my mom taught me to embroidery when I was a kid, so... Mm -hmm. Oh, my grandma my grandma and I would do stuff like that, too. Yeah. We would sew little birds, uh, little stuffed birds and stuff like that. And she actually just sent me a blanket she made for me that has an eagle on it Aww. not too long ago. So she still sends me some bird stuff that she makes from time to time. Aren't you pretty? And he's, uh, he's for adoption, right? Yes. I, I tell people to consider us like a dating service. <laughs> First you just That's have coffee, it, then you maybe you go to a movie. You gotta take the bird on a date. You have to date the bird. <laughs> Some take longer than others. Hey, you know it's a longer commitment than most marriages. So. That's true. There That's true. <laughs> That's true. Bird's gonna live to be 70 years old. Yeah. Even a full marriage isn't gonna last 70 years. So yeah, there's a certainly a commitment. Oh. I, I was just talking to a lady today about that. About people when they get birds when they're a little older, say in their 50s, mm -hmm. that haven't researched the commitment for time. Yeah. And the difference between being a 50-year-old and a 70-year-old is huge. How you feel. Oh, yeah. What you're capable of doing, all of that. Well, so. not only that, but, uh, I mean, the bird's going to end up in your will. Right. So. <laughs> or not. Most people don't. And then it becomes yeah. an emergency. That's true. And then they end up back here. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. we, just had, we just had two um, come in from a lady who died. Oh. And God bless her. She found out she had cancer and she was gone in seven weeks. Wow. And perfectly healthy, she thought. So, again, you know, when we talk about, um, we try and save room for emergencies, you know, that are out of people's control. And you never know when that kind of thing's gonna strike. And there aren't enough of us out there that do what we do. No. That's very true. It would be nice if our work was, ne was not needed. It would be nice if, in a perfect world somewhere. They yeah. could all be in the wild. Yeah. But you know, you gotta make do with what you have. I am partially glad that they are with us though. I know. <laughs> Me too. Me too. Now here's a bird that would be better than a macaw for someone like me who was eight years old and wanted a bird. <laughs> A beginner bird. Right, say. right, right. The thing I, I absolutely love cockatiels, they have a cockatoo personality because they're in the cockatoo family in a little teeny tiny little yeah. body. 
compact. And they can sing and talk and have attitude and be funny. Uh, all of these birds came from one seizure where the authorities uh, seized um, almost 400 animals from a pet store. Oh, wow. Um, none of them are tame. And that's how we ended up with this group of cockatiels. And they're, they're beautiful. I love cockatiels. So they're, they would be great for somebody who wants an aviary and put a couple cockatiels in and just take good care of them. Right. Now I should clarify and say that I don't think there's any beginner bird truly. Right, right. I agree. <laughs> I'm just using a figure and, of speech. I want to clarify that for people watching. Right, they're right. They're like gonna get mad at me for saying that. And yes, because all birds all are important. major commitments, yes. and they're all important. So my experience with cockatiels is when they bite you, they always get you on the quick of your fingernails. Yes, that that was the same with budgies when I had budgies, yes, and they used yes, to frustrate same. me. It hurts. It hurts, yeah. It's like getting a really bad paper cut. Right. I know exactly. But they're not going to break a bone. Stabbed by a knife. <laughs> A little pinch. What's the matter, baby? What's his name? This is Ruffy. And that's his mate, Marissa. I remember last time I was here, he was singing Old MacDonald to me. What are you doing, Ruffy? What's the matter, baby? Old MacDonald had a farm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he mean howls too, doesn't he? Meow. 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 Chicka chicka bow wow. Chicka chicka bow wow. <laughs> Kitty, 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 kitty. No. You don't say. Do you have a lot to say today? Do you have a lot to say today? No? That's it? That's all we're going to get? That's how did he end up coming in? Oh, old breeder bird? Retired? Yeah, retired breeder bird. Don't have to worry about closing that quickly. No. Mm -mm. This is a huge aviary too. I like this. There used to be about 15 Amazons in here, 16, but then they developed three gangs. <laughs> they started a gang war. <laughs> a gang war, three of them. So the nine, I believe there's nine left, they all get along. The others all had to be moved out. Yeah, last time I was here, there were more, weren't there? Yeah, there was yeah. probably a couple more when you were here last time. I'm about to hit my head on this. Oh, yeah, be careful. The ceilings here are not made for me. Right. <laughs> I've hit my head here a few times already.